Welcome to the first video in a two-part series where I'll be obtaining every single Uncharted Platinum. In today's video, we'll be focusing on the first three games in the series, Drake's Fortune, Among Thieves, and Drake's Deception. Now, all three of these games have similar trophy lists, that being difficulty-based trophies, which require us to beat the game on crushing mode, collectible trophies, which require us to collect all the treasures plus a strange relic, weapons trophies, which require us to get X amount of kills with certain weapons, melee trophies for hand-to-hand -hand combat encounters, and the speedrun trophies to top it all off. Now, heading into Uncharted 1, I already had 12 out of the 46 trophies as I had already played the game before. Now my main goal was to beat the game while crushing and collect all of the treasures in one playthrough. And whatever trips I had left after completing the game, I'd go back through the chapter select to obtain them. All right, this is gonna be the final treasure that I have to find. So I'm gonna get the trophy for collecting all the treasures and the special relic. Master Thief Collection. Find all treasures and the strange relic. Now all that stood between me and the crushing difficulty trophy was the final boss fight. But luckily this was the easiest out of the three main boss fights in the trilogy as this one does give you button indicators to help you defeat Navarro. I got you bro. Boom. Let's go. Charted easy. Charted normal. Charted hard. And charted crushing. After beating the game, I had a few weapon trophies left, so I loaded up chapter 17 and farmed the rest of the kills. I then went into chapter 1 to farm the rest of the melee trophies I needed. Now this melee trophy required me to kill 10 enemies in a row with a single punch after weakening them with gunfire. I used a little cheesy tactic of killing these two guys right here and saving and reloading because this does not end the streak. I will be continuing to use this strategy for the rest of the trophies in the trilogy that require you to do something in a row. Hey, Steel Fist Expert, I got it. Now right here, I did the same thing for this trophy as well called Brutal Expert as it requires me to kill five enemies in a row with a brutal combo. Brutal Expert killed five enemies in a row with brutal combo, then had two explosion trophies left. So I went over and finished those up by hanging off the edge and killing 10 people with a grenade and then killing three enemies with one explosion five times. I then had a stealth trophy I had to go for, so I farmed this poor guy right here to help me get the trophy. Okay, so this should be my 50th stealth takedown. Never mind. They saw me. Why does that always happen? Why does that always happen when I try to do that? 50. Master Ninja. Killed 50 enemies by melee attacking from behind. Pause. And now we have reached the speedrun trophies. The first chapter I had to complete was chapter 5, and I had to do that in less than 10 minutes. How the Fortnite do I get out of here? Oh, this is not a good, not a good look for the speedrun. Ooh! AB first try. 13 seconds. We had 13 seconds left. I then had a speedrun chapter 12 in less than 5 minutes, and this chapter takes place all on a jet ski. So it was very easy to complete in under 5 minutes. Too quick, bro. I'm too quick with it. I mean, goddamn. I'm too good with it, bro. 240 first try. I mean, granted, that's not a hard level at all. So, one speedrun left. And the final trophy that I have to obtain for the Platinum is to complete Chapter 16 in less than 7 minutes. Now once again, this was fairly easy to complete in the given time frame because these speedrun trophies are very lenient on their time. I don't know where this chapter ends. That's, a, that's the Platinum. Uncharted 1 down, Uncharted 2 is now next. Now moving on to Uncharted 2, this was the longest game out of the three as it had 26 chapters compared to the other two that only have 22. Another change in the game is that there is now 100 treasures instead of the 60 that was in the previous game. Now the trophy list remains similar, so my goal was the same. Beat the game on crushing and collect all of the treasures in one go. Master Fortune Hunter, find 100 treasures. Once again, all that stood between me and completing the game on crushing was another boss fight. Now, I don't know if I'm just bad at the game, but this one ended up being a pain in my ass. This definitely was the hardest level in the entire trilogy for me. And it started off really well, actually. I died instantly three times. It even got so bad that I ended up resorting to the ring around the rosy tactic, but even that did not help me. After dying so many times, I actually became genuinely frustrated with this boss fight, but then a miracle happened. In an attempt to choke me out, Zarvich ended up throwing me inside of a tree, causing me to become invulnerable. Okay, so I don't want to jinx anything, but as an update, I got thrown into this tree, and it seems as if he can't hurt me here. I don't want to jinx anything, but it seems like he can't hurt me. I've just been sitting here, and he hasn't been hurting me. I've been just letting this thing regrow, and I've been killing him. Um, I am a coward. And, yeah, this is it. Holy Fortnite. I was getting this shizzle beat out of him. The dude threw me in the tree. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna 
complain about it. He threw me in there. That's all he had to have dyed his hair because it was gray in the first one and it's black in this one and it's not a prequel. That's what I don't get. That's why I thought it was a prequel because his hair was black. Crushing. Normal. Easy. <laughs> When I, when I, my first crushing playthrough on Uncharted 1, I couldn't really show you my stats because I had played a bunch before that. But here we are with my final crushing stats for Uncharted 2. I killed 1,000 enemies, failed or restarted 183 times. Uncharted 2's crushing took me about 11 hours to complete. Okay, so I missed one treasure on chapter 2, so I'm gonna have to go back, replay it. I'm gonna put it on easy mode and just get, work my way through it so I can go get the one treasure that I did end up missing. Now, while going back for the one treasure I missed, I also obtained the trophy Bare Knuckle Expert for killing 10 enemies in a row with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Bare Knuckle Expert. Defeat 10 enemies in a row with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay, the treasure's in here somewhere. I know I missed this one for sure because I ran out of this room immediately. Here it is. The Master Thief Collection. Find all treasures and the strange relic. I then went into Chapter 5 to get stealth kills and farm the rest of the weapons trophies that I ended up needing. This could be it. Yeah, Master Ninja. Kill 50 enemies by melee attacking from behind. Technically, it just means stealth kills. 30 kills with the Desert 5. 30. Who wants to be lucky number 50? This guy. I should be close to defeating 75 enemies without dying. Survivor. Kill 75 enemies in a row without dying. 50 kills with the Saz. Sawed off shotgun. I'm guessing what that means. All right, so for this trophy, I just have to enable photo mode. I already did this in the first one, so that's why it wasn't in the first one. New paparazzi in town. Let's go. I am the new paparazzi in town. Right here, I'm going to get an RPG and kill five guys at the same time. Elena almost walked in front of that. Could have been really bad. Three, two, one. Give me 30. Grenade hangman. I'm right here, guys. Yes, sir. Once again, I had to kill 10 enemies in a row after weakening them with gunfire. I used the same save and reload strategy as last time, but now there's another trophy requiring you to do it 20 times in total. Steel Fist Expert. Kill 10 enemies in a row with a single punch after weakening them with gunfire. Steel Fist Master. Kill 20 enemies with a single punch after weakening them with gunfire. Fire. Time for a speed run, baby. First chapter we get a speed run is chapter three. Got to complete it in under six minutes, 30 seconds. I don't remember this chapter. Oh, it's the charge one. I did take a while on this one when I played it the first time because I couldn't find the charges. Come on, come on, Solly. Come on, Solly, get out of the way. Come on. Let's go. Six minutes and 13 seconds. The next chapter that I have to speed run is chapter five and I have to complete it in under seven minutes and 30 seconds. Now this chapter was mainly combat sections and while you're given a decent amount of time to complete it, you must be aggressive in your attacks if you want to complete it within the given time. Let's go, quick jump through a war zone. Beat chapter five at Urban Warfare in less than seven minutes, 30 seconds. We beat it in six minutes and 43 seconds. All right, so the final trophy that I need is to complete chapter 13 in under seven minutes. This chapter was very easy to get in under the given time as well. You just gotta be aggressive once again, but the time of seven minutes is also very generous. So I think you'll be fine when going for this. That's the platinum. Let's go. That's the Platinum. That's Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 1 complete. Last one for this video is Uncharted 3, so let's go do Uncharted 3's Platinum. Now, last but not least, we have Uncharted 3. While this game ended up being shorter than Uncharted 2, it actually had 51 total trophies, adding a few more miscellaneous and weapons trophies. Why would you do that? We're trying to be stealthy, but okay. Cool way to get 30 kills. Now here I have my final boss fight. This one was also super easy compared to Uncharted 2's. I'm not really sure why Uncharted 2's was so much harder than the other two. Whoa, bucko. This boss fight better not be as hard as the last one. Don't do it, man. We're best friends. We know each other for... Ah, uh, someone shot. That boss fight was so much easier than the second game. That one sucked so bad. Let's go, Charted Easy. Charted Normal. Salim. Charted Hard. 
Uncharted Crushing because we beat the game on Crushing. I only killed 883 enemies this time in Crushing and I failed more times. I failed 203 times. Worse uh, accuracy. Yeah, this one only took me eight hours. First one probably took me around the same time. Second one was the longest. So after playing through the game, I ended up missing two treasures in my playthrough. So I went back to chapter three and then four to collect the two that I did miss. All right, this will be the 100th treasure I get. Master Fortune Hunter, find 100 treasures. Now I gotta go get the last one. Here it is. Here's the 101 treasure. Master Thief Collection. Find all the treasures and the strange relic. I ended up having to farm a ton of weapons trophies, so I went to chapter 22 to do so. In the past two games, you were able to select any weapon in the game via the bonus menu, but for this game, there was a limited selection. So then I had to load up chapter 19 and 20 to get the weapons I couldn't unlock. This trip right here was called Riot Rocker and it requires me to kill five riot shield enemies by running over their shield. I found this guy in chapter 15 to be the easiest target for this trophy. This should be the final kill for the Riot Rocker trophy. Kill five riot shield enemies by running over their shield. Should get a trophy for swimming in this epic clean pool. Marco Solo played in the swimming pool on the cruise ship. I then had to take down a brute without taking damage, and on crushing there are no button indicators so I failed to complete this trophy during my playthrough as I did take damage. So I put it on easy mode and got the button indicators. Dick kick! And brute down. beater and dick beater. Successfully counter all of the brute's damage giving attacks. Final stealth kill? Master ninja. Indeed I am. Okay, so for this trophy, I have to hit three of these guys with fish. One. Oh, there we go. I guess it was just cumulative, not all at one time. So we got it. I also had to get 20 kills while swimming. There we go. Land shark. Then kill four enemies with one explosion. Bye bye. Dynamite master. And then kill 10 enemies with grenades while hanging. Now this should be 10. Grenade hangman. This is the easiest trophy in the game. Just explore the photo mode. Now we have the final speedrun trophies. I first had to complete chapter 7 in under 9 minutes and 30 seconds. This one was probably the most stressful because the building was burning down. Don't exactly know where this chapter ends, but I hope it's soon because I only got 45 seconds left. Okay, should be it. Let's go outrun the flames. Beat chapter 7, stand alight in less than 9 minutes, 30 seconds. Took us 8 minutes and 47 seconds. Next up was to beat chapter 16 in less than 12 minutes. And if you're aggressive like you have to be in the past ones, you'll be fine with getting this one in under 12 minutes. We have 4 minutes left, dude. I think we're fine. I'm pretty sure this is the end of the chapter. 12 minutes is very lenient with the with the time given, so... But I'm not complaining. That should be that trophy. I don't see why we wouldn't get it in 12 minutes, because I believe that's the end of the chapter. Yep, catch that plane. Beat chapter 16 one shot at this in less than 12 minutes. And we got it in 9 minutes, 2 seconds. Now the final trophy is upon us. All I had to do was complete chapter 20 in less than 15 minutes. Speed run. I'm like, man, I'm like Dark Viper, bro. Boom. Nope, never mind. Speed run tactics, you know. Take them on hand to hand. Instead of with the gun. Okay, okay, we're in the final stretch of this. Uh, this shouldn't take me five minutes, but if it does, just that means I'm a, a bad speedrunner. And we already know I'm not a bad speedrunner because my past speedrunning history in GTA 5. We're about to get it. We're going to open these doors, get down there, and we're going to have the platinum. All three of them for the trilogy. We're about to have it, boys. Let's go. My horse is faster. The Platinum Trophy for Uncharted 3, or all Uncharted 3 Remastered Trophies. We got all three Platinums for the trilogy. Like I said, next up is Uncharted 4 and Lost Legacy, but that'll be a separate video because I don't want this video to be too long. I'm not sure how long it'll be, but I want to split it up. I can't believe I pushed them off this long. I put them off this long, but they're really great games and I really enjoyed them. I had already had a couple trophies in the first Uncharted, so it was hard to show you my crushing time because I'd already played it before. Uh, I hadn't beaten it, but I'd played it, so it was hard to show you the exact time I spent. But the other ones took me about 11 hours and 8 hours and then add a couple hours under that going for miscellaneous trophies so could honestly be 55 hours yeah these are great games like i said i'm confused how i took this long to play them they are great can't wait for the next two it's gonna be the end of the video part two will be out in a, at a later date don't know when I'm gonna edit this and do all this first before i start at four hope you're having a good day night evening morning afternoon breakfast lunch dinner wherever you're at whatever you're doing have a good one